Okay, so we'll start. Uh, I'm just, um, again, uh, advise you to have a glass of water in case you get thirsty. Uh, can you hear okay? okay. Yes. We're gonna sit in our easy meditative posture on the mat. You can sit flat on the ground on your mat or on a blanket. So uh, this is a very gentle class. This is designed for people that just want to get uh, to feel better in their body and maybe working with some kind of injury. Uh, this is not a vigorous class, but it's a powerful practice. And I want you to feel good about yourself, your body, and your future. So we're going to start by going within. So rest your hands comfortably on your legs, palms up or down. And take a breath or two as we find our nice beginning posture. And then as you exhale, close your eyes and begin to go within. So we'll start going within. Yes, I'm mute. I think someone just joined us, so I'm going to mute everybody again. And again, this class is ideal for anybody who is, let's say, over 40 <laughs> or dealing with an injury or who just wants a, a more uh, gentle practice. All right, we're going to start with a few affirmations. So, uh, just repeat silently to yourself. These are just powerful affirmations. I am healthy. I am loved. I am blessed. And I am abundant. Take one more deep breath and we'll open our eyes. Okay, so finding that height in your seat again, let's inhale. And as you exhale, gently drop your chin to your chest and get a nice little stretch in the back of your neck. Hold this for a few breaths. Good, and as you inhale with your own breathing rhythm, come back up. And as you exhale, let your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Let the inhale take you back up. And let the exhale, your left ear fall to your left shoulder. Let the inhale take you back up. And once again, exhale, dip your chin. Let the inhale take you back up. And this time, roll your head out gently, either side to side or a full circle. So uh, be gentle with your neck, your cervical spine. So whatever feels the best to you. You can rest your eyes, you can close your eyes and go within. And then uh, you'll switch the direction. Gather yourself back to the center, sitting upright and eyes open. And just take a rest here. In this practice, we'll be going within a lot, and we'll also be taking these little rests, just to feel the difference between rest and movement, or rest and tension. Okay, very good. So here, let's go ahead and recross your legs if you need to. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale, stretch the arms overhead, and maybe look up, hold this for a breath, and then watch what I'm doing with my hands. I'm gonna turn my palms out so the backs of my hands are together and then release them down. 
Let's do that a few more times. Palms up, palms press in an overhead prayer. Maybe you look up, find that length, and then turn the backs of the hands to touch. And we release them slowly down. Now that you've got the hang of it, let's go several more rounds at your own pace. It doesn't have to be my pace. So you're getting a little rotation in the, in the arms shoulders and the wrists. Let's go two more times. And how about this? Let's go two more times and then just meet with our hands back down on our legs. Take a breath. Okay, we're gonna put our right hand on the mat and stretch the left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. And then we're gonna take that lateral stretch and move our right arm out. Here, we're beginning to open up the left side of the body. At any time you wanna close your eyes and go within, you can do that. By going within, just feeling what the inner workings are doing. All right. Now engage your belly, your core to come up and back where we started. Now keep your left hand down on the floor, reach your right arm up and exhale to the left. You can walk your left hand out. So hold the pose, but keep breathing. Good, and then we engage the core. Gently tuck, tug it in, and then we come all the way up. All right, now let's just take our arms halfway up and then cactus them. Feel the space in the front of your body, the chest, sitting nice and tall. And then we're gonna take the arms forward and interlace the fingers and lean back on our tailbone. Chin is tucking. Hold one more breath. Good, and then come back up and take that cactus with the, with, with the arms. Let's go again a few more times. You can go just as slow as that or faster. Every time you inhale, you're upright and in cactus. Every time you exhale, you're rounding and falling back on your tailbone, getting a nice stretch in the mid back. Let's go one more time of each to meet in the uh, cactus. And then lower your hands to your legs or your knees and find a moment of rest. All right, here we're gonna do the seated Sufi circles. So we're gonna hold on to the knees and we're gonna come forward, let the chest come forward and then go to the right and back and then to the left. So we're just making a circle. So your circle might grow larger or it might stay the size it is. You may wanna shut your eyes and go within. So you may feel it in your hips or your spine. Anytime you wanna stop and switch your direction, do so. Hopefully everyone switched. Let's go one more. And then again, we'll come up and just be still. Eyes open or closed and find a breath or two of rest. All right. Now we're gonna let the legs come out long. We're gonna just stretch the legs out long and sit back on your heels of your hands and give your legs a shake out. 
All right. And then we're going to come up and we're going to bend the left leg, put the foot high up inside the right. Move the flesh away from the sitting bones, rearrange the merchandise back there. All right, and then we're gonna just take a moment to reach the arms up. Don't feel any pressure to touch your foot. This is just to uh, stretch out your spine now in the backs of your right leg. Start to hinge from the hip and lower your hands. Your right foot is flexing. You might want to walk your hands a little more forward and uh, just close your eyes and go inward. We're going to hold this pose for four breaths and breathe nice and slow. Beginning with this breath. One. Two. Three. And four. And we walk and round all the way back up. Stay with this position for a moment and then take your left hand to the floor behind you. Your right hand presses on your left knee. We're gonna take a nice inhale, find the height in our spine, then look over the left shoulder and take a few breaths with this twist. Hopefully you can really feel your belly button expand and contract as you breathe into your belly. One. Two and three and unwind. Let's go ahead and switch out both legs forward, maybe shake them out or pat them out. We'll bend the right knee, put the right foot inside the left. And we'll reach the arms up. Again, no pressure. You can put your hands on your leg if you'd like or your shin. Hinge forward from your hips, feel the stretch in your spine, in your hips. Left foot is flexed, toes pointing up. We're gonna hold the pose, four breaths. Here we go, one, two, three, and four. Walk it up gently. And we're gonna take the right hand behind our hip, left hand on the right leg, find your length, and then twist three breaths, looking to the right, looking over your right shoulder. One, two, three, come all the way back around. All right. Now we're gonna put our feet on the floor and we're gonna take our feet a little wider. We're gonna hold on to our shins. And again, this is like a cat cow. I think we've done uh, a few of these already. We're gonna take our chest slowly to forward. And then we're gonna round it back, get a nice stretch for our back. Come up, chest forward. Exhale, round back. And my, again, I forgot to do my little disclaimer. Not everything works for everybody's body today. So you can either modify it, omit it, or do something else. Okay, let's go two more times. And gently come up to complete those. And then walk your feet in a little. I'm gonna to turn to the side. Walk your feet in a little so that your feet are about hips width apart. Put your hands on your knees as we prepare for boat pose. So weight is on this tail, the sitting bone, and lift your, lift your feet. You can hold onto your, the tops of your knees. I find that helps me a little bit. Or you can take your legs to a right angle and reach your arms. Let's go three more breaths, three, two, and one. Place your feet all the way back down. So you're facing the front of your mat and you can scoot up so that your feet are at the very short edge of your mat. And we're gonna lie down on our back now for, for some supine um, work. So slowly roll down to your back. 
And once you come down to the floor, just take a rest. A breath of rest. All right, we're gonna stretch, we're gonna stretch, uh, pull the knees into the chest just for a moment. Hold that pose, just pulling both knees into the chest. And if you want to go a little deeper, you can lift your head, maybe your nose towards your knees, feet are flexed. Hold for three, two, one lower back down, feet to the floor, and then extend your legs long. Take one full breath, in and out, and then reach your arms overhead, palms face up. Maybe bring your legs a little closer, point your toes, stretch your fingers, and then flex your feet. Let's go three more times. Point your toes, flex your toes, point your toes, flex your toes. Now just the right foot, point and flex, point, and flex. Now just your left. Point and flex. Point and flex. Good. Bring the right knee in towards you and give it a hug. Again, you can just do this or if you want to try uh, lifting your head towards your knee and holding for three breaths, you can try that. Three deep breaths too. One, we'll meet with our head and shoulders on the ground. Now raise that right leg towards the ceiling and go ahead and circle it out. Roll it out your right ankle. Go the other direction. And then flex it. Push the heel towards the ceiling. You're, you can be holding the right leg or arms can be down on the ground and then point the foot. Go again, flex and point it many more times. All right, and then slowly lower it back to the floor. The slower you go, the more benefits you'll feel. Once the foot comes down, Take a breath just to rest. Feel the difference between rest and effort. All right, let's, let's go again the other side. So bring the left knee into your chest or lift your nose towards your knee and hold for three breaths. Three and two. Left foot is flexed. And one, release your head back down. Lift, lengthen the left leg up towards your ceiling. You can either hold the leg or palms face down on the floor. Circle out the left ankle. Change directions. And then flex the foot, heel towards the ceiling. And point. Go again at your own pace, flexing and pointing. And then slowly with the flexed foot, lower the left leg down to the ground. Go as slow as possible. And turn your palms face up, let your feet flop out. Take one breath to rest. Palms face down, bring your knees into your chest and stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. Flex both heels towards the ceiling. And then point both feet towards the ceiling. Do it one more time, please. Flex and point. With your feet flexed, let's open the legs out in a straddle position. 
And then you can press your hands on your inner thighs or legs. Hold this pose with feet flexed for three, uh, for four breaths. Four. In your hands, can rub the inner thighs to stretch them out or not. Three. Feet are flexed. And two. And one. Hands can help the legs back up or not. Nice and slow, bring your legs back up in the air and circle out your ankles. We're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna bring the knees wide now. Hands find the ankles. Elbows press the inner thighs away and get a nice flat back here and a nice inner thigh stretch. I'll count to four and three, two, and then one. And then hat will help the legs back up. Now just bring your arms out to the ground, either straight up or halfway out. And let your knees fall towards one side, but not touch. And then slowly come up and let your knees fall towards the other side of the floor, but not touch. Repeat. All together now, let's come up and let the knees fall to the floor to the right and your right hand on the legs. Gently turn away from your legs. So turn left and close your eyes, go within. Eyes are gonna open and we're gonna look up at the ceiling. Palms to the ground, bring your knees to center. Opposite side, let knees fall to the left floor, side of the floor. Left hand presses down, turn your head right. Eyes open, look up, and knees come all the way back up. Hold on to your kneecaps. Back is flat and circle out. Make some little circles with your hips, with your knees. Make sure you go enough in each direction. And then we're gonna come to our last supine pose, which is the butterfly. So lower your feet, baby toe sides on the floor and your feet are pressing together. Hands press down on the legs if you'd like. And we're gonna go into our deep belly breaths. Now you can even place your hands on your belly. We call this the diaphragmatic breath. The diaphragm is helping us breathe. Two more breaths here in our supine butterfly. All right, and then let your hands help your leg, your knees back up, feet on the floor. Walk your feet all the way out and your hips out to the left and roll to your right. So we're just rolling to the right and our right arm is like a pillow. Take a breath of constructive rest here. And then use your left hand, your right hand on the ground to press all the way back up. We're gonna make a transition now to a prone position where you face down. Actually, we're gonna lie on our stomach. We're gonna lie all the way on our flat on our stomach and we're gonna come to the sphinx position. In, in the sphinx position, our, el our, our elbows are bent and they're pretty much under our shoulders. Our palms are flat on the ground. So we're gonna keep our neck as relaxed and long as we can. You might wanna look down or if you can look straight ahead, find somewhere to look. 
You can move your head left to right. The tops of the feet, the toenails are actually pressing down onto the mat. And uh, God, I'm blanking out on the names of those muscles in the back, but those are the muscles that we're, that we're engaging here in our Sphinx pose. Let's go for two more breaths. Try to relax and breathe into your belly. Nice, and then we'll release gently as we come down, bend the arms and take crocodile pose. So your forehead is resting on your bent on, on your hands, your arms are bent. One arm on one hand on top of the other. Take one good round of rest here. And then lift, we're gonna extend the arms all the way forward. Head is on the mat. So we're gonna lift the right leg. And then we're going to point it or flex it, whatever feels best to you. And then raise the opposite arm, the left. You can even raise your head if you'd like. One more breath. So we got the right leg, the left arm in the air. And then release the pose. Come down, take a breath. Let's go with the other side now, left leg up and right arm. Release the pose. So on your own, let's go four more. Each one of us practicing on our own. We'll start with the right leg, the left arm again. You might wanna hold it less or more. So it's on your own, this is self-paced. And again, you're going within and uh, what are you learning about your body? Let's finish up the work that we're doing and take that crocodile pose again. Go for a couple of deep breaths. Now that was a lot, that was a good bit of work, I think, for a gentle yoga class. So if you want to rest more, you can, but if you want just a little more, you can place your arms forward again, your forehead on the ground, and lift everything up off the mat, point your toes back, and then you can even elbow, bend your elbows. Opening your chest, you can switch between arms forward and then elbows bent. If this is a little too much, just rest in crocodile. We'll go one more. All right, and then calm down, release from that, release from crocodile. Put your palms now next to your shoulders and press up and back, slowly making that transition to extend a child's pose. Knees are opening, the toes are touching, the big toes, and the arms are reaching to the front. We'll hold this resting posture for four breaths. Four. Three. Two, one. Now let's come slowly up into tabletop position. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. All right, so we're gonna begin here in tabletop position by taking the, neck, the left knee just about an inch up, just a bit up, and then stretch your right leg back. Point your toe, flex your toe. Point it, flex it. So do that a few more times. And then with the toe pointed or flex, whatever you prefer, stay here or at the left arm. And I'll count us four breaths. Four, three, 
two, one. If your arm and leg are both in the air, try to bring your elbow to your knee slowly and round your mid back. Go again. If this is too much, keep your left hand on the ground and just bring the knee in. What's best for your body? Let's go two more. And release the pose. Let's take full child's pose now. Knees open, toes touch, hips back, arms back too. Let's take the full resting child's pose for four, three, two, one, and then stretch the arms forward and extend the child's and come back up to knees and hands. We'll walk the right knee up about an inch, stretch the left leg back and up. Point and flex the foot. And again, you can keep the leg in the air only or add the right arm for four breaths in a balance. Four, three, two, one. You can slowly bring the elbow to the knee or just the knee in and your right arm, or right hand on the ground. And we can go a few times. Be real conscious of the deep breaths in and the deep exhales out. Finish up the last one. And then release the pose. Full child's one more time. Knees open, big toes touch, arms reach back, forehead down, maybe rock left and right or massage your head. Let's go for four breaths. One, two, three, and four. Bring your hands in front of your knees and gently press yourself up to rock position, just sitting on your shins. If that's not comfortable, just sit down in easy, comfortable seat. Let's go ahead and stretch our fingers forward, our arms forward, and then roll your wrists out. That might have been a little too much on some of our wrists, so just roll your fingers, your wrists out. All right, so. Facing the front of your mat, once again, <clears throat> let's go ahead. Use your right hand to scoop that right foot forward. And we're gonna take an easy, good little lunge here. So we'll come up, you can pad your left knee if you'd like. And uh, start just by hands on that right thigh. You might want to close your eyes and feel the pose from inside out. Then open up your eyes and stretch your arms up straight up to the ceiling. Maybe look up, maybe bring palms together, maybe not. Let's go three breaths here. And even though there are arms are reaching, relax your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Easy does it, let's bring the hands to the floor, this time inside the right foot. Stretch your left leg back. You can turn your right foot out to the right and maybe rock your hips to the left and right or just be still. Find a gentle variation of this runner's lunge. Finish with another deep breath. And then we'll walk the foot back and take the knee back. Let's go back to tabletop. Take your left hand, scoop the left foot to the front of the mat near your hands and come 
up with the crown of your head, like it's being pulled up by a string. Hands rest on that left thigh. Do you want to close your eyes and go within? Where do you feel the stretch? And as you're ready, let your eyes open up again and reach the arms up. Let's go three breaths here. Three, two, one, hands release down inside the left foot. Stretch your right leg down and back as much as you need to. Walk your left foot out to the left. Hips can rock or just be static. We're going into a, a version of the runner's lunge. One more breath before we come out of it. Make your way out of it and take your left knee back to meet your right. Press the palms into the mat, tuck the toes, and a gentle downward dog, a little inversion to get the blood flowing uh, in a different direction. So a gentle yoga version. So that could be legs are bent a lot. You can move your head right and left if that feels appropriate. Take a moment to go within and let your body guide you into what the next step would be. Maybe pedaling out your legs, maybe not. What? Uh, would feel good to your body and down dog this morning. And then all together, let's just hold the static, the still version it could be a straight leg one, it could be a bent leg one. Let's go two breaths, one. Two. And then wide open eyes, knees are bent. Walk your feet to the middle and walk your hands back to your feet and come to the middle of your mat in a, in a rag doll forward fold. That just means the legs are bent. Let your torso hang like a waterfall. Then bend the arms and let the torso hang a little heavier, holding the opposite elbow. And then release your elbows, halfway lift, press your hands above the kneecap and find some stretch in your spine. Crown of the head moving away from the tail. Good, and then release that back to the ragdoll. Tuck your chin in and roll up to stand nice and gentle, nice and slow. All right, so stepping off your mat if you'd like for balance. Uh, we're gonna move into um, a swan pose. You can hold a table if you'd like. Put your right foot down and bring your left knee up, foot is flexed and arms are out. Let's go one more breath in our graceful swan pose. And then we'll bring our hands to our heart and gently lengthen that left leg back and take standing, balancing, warrior three. I don't know if this is classified as gentle enough, but we'll give it a go. Find your way back to standing and release your hands down. Take some breaths, maybe walk it out and just rest.
Hmm, maybe that wasn't gentle enough. Let's do swan on the other side, left foot's in the ground, bring the right knee up, arms are out, right foot is flexed. Your affirmation might be, I am calm, I am peaceful, I am beautiful, like a beautiful swan. Then hands can come to your heart. You can either try that balance or you can just bring your right big toe to the floor behind you. Let's go a few breaths. If you wanna try balancing, you can, or right toe on the floor behind you. And then we'll release the pose slowly and gently and come back up to mountain. Walk your feet about a little more than hips width apart and hold your waist. And we're gonna go in a little circular motion. You might wanna close your eyes here, go within. And then start to slow the movement down till you finally stop moving all together and just be still and rest a breath. Let's go the, open the eyes and go the other direction. And you can close your eyes, you can take your feet out wider, find that comfort point where you feel balanced, you feel stable. And then begin to slow it down till you stop moving all together. Close your eyes. Oh, feel that prana, that energetic movement in your body. Take a breath, open your eyes, and then bring your uh, feet back to mountain pose. Release your arms. Okay. So we're gonna step back on the mat and we're gonna take one big stretch with the arms all the way overhead. Remember what we did at the beginning when we were seated? We're gonna do that four times. Turn the backs of the palms together and then lower the arms. Inhale, take the palms up in prayer. And then as the backs of the hands, as you exhale, your arms come down. Go two more. The last time you go, we're gonna bend the knees and fold forward till we're in that ragdoll position again and step long back to another down dog. Don't panic, it's a gentle one. Take one full belly breath and come down to your knees. Gently swing your knees around or your feet around till we're back, um, back in uh, come, where we started actually, back in that uh, meditative seat. Your leg like, ankles could be crossed or one in front of the other. Let's go ahead and just rest our palms on our legs. Close your eyes. All right. Moving on, let's open our eyes and we're gonna face the, the front of the mat. Take the legs out long one more time. Move the flesh so that your sitting bones are pressing into the floor. Point and flex your toes. And sit up tall, feet are flexed, arms are reaching upward. And again, we're just honoring where we are today. Hinge from the hips and bring your hands down. We'll hold the pose for four breaths, four. You keep breathing. 
while you're holding it, three, two, one, walk your hands, roll it up all the way back up and then circle the arms one more time and bring your hands to the heart center. All right, we're gonna move down to the mat again. So you can bend your knees, feet on the floor and roll down to lie on your back. Again, the slower you wanna do it, the probably more you'll get out of it. <laughs> Stamp your feet on the ground, palms face down by your sides, by your hips. Look up at the ceiling. Find something to look at. <clears throat> Then we're going to lift the hips, peel them up off the yoga mat. Hold your breath. And when you're exhaling, nice and slow, lower, slowly, till the tail touches down. Let's go two more times. Look up at that spot. Lift your hips. On the exhalation, slowly. Coordinate that with your exhale, all the way down slowly with your exhale till your back's on the ground. Now, last one to hold the bridge pose. This time we're holding the hips up. You can shimmy your shoulders underneath and lace your fingers up or not. Let's hold for four breaths, four. Three. Two. One, exiting the pose, palms flat, lower the back. All right. Lift your feet. We're going to press down on the shins or rock side to side, whatever you feel like doing, or circle out. And then holding the shins, come center. Maybe hug them tighter and lift your nose up towards your knees, flex your toes, and hold the pose for three, two, and one to release all the way down, feet to the floor. Scoot your hips to the left and we'll take a twist. Knees fall to the right. Hands press down, slowly come back to the middle. Scoot your hips all the way to the right. Let your knees fall left. Four breaths here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back to the middle. Back up with the legs. Either hold on to the ankles for happy baby or hold on to the feet for happy baby. Go for three rounds of breath in either variation. Three, two, and one. Release. Feet down, arms down. Turn your palms to face up. Stretch your legs out, feet flopping out. As much space between your legs and arms. Nice space between your shoulders, between your hip points. Maybe rock your head left and right. Maybe lift your back and lower it. Find a good, comfortable, well-balanced setting for your body so that you can benefit from Shavasana. So I may have said it before, the time to relax is, the most important time to relax is when you feel you don't have time for it. So let's uh, close our eyes, start to Turn inward 
and let's share two cleansing breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth with sound. Go one more time. Inhale through your nose. Fill up your, your lungs. And then a nice exhale with sound. Relax your mouth, lips lightly touching. Let your eyes relax, fall back in the sockets. Your body will truly benefit for the next few minutes from this posture, from the stillness. Your body will absorb all the work that you've done, <clears throat> assimilate it, and you will feel better about yourself and your body when we come out. So enjoy your Shavasana. Coming back from your rest, open to the stillness and peace. 
clarity that Shavasana offers. Keeping your breath. Whatever your body needs now, wiggling fingers or toes. Moving any spots that still feel tight. Maybe one big stretch with a deep yawn before we roll to the side and press up to seated with our eyes closed to remind us to go within. Let your hands fall to your legs, sit up tall, eyes closed. I shared with you a few affirmations at the beginning of our practice. You can repeat a few of these and then I'll be make your own. Uh, I am at peace. I am calm. I am blessed. Now fill in a few of your own silently. And together we are connected. We are not alone. We are supported and we are strong. Let's bring our hands to rest at our heart. Thank you for <coughs> taking this time for yourself. Thank you all for practicing with me. Namaste and have a great day. Um, let me unmute everybody.